Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This is another mnemonic video, tips and tricks video for CSIRnet. And today we are going to talk about vulvar development in C. elegans. And this is a topic that I believe many of you fear, but today I will try to reduce the fear for you. So, vulva development in C. elegans. How to remember vulva development? You know, vulva development is really complicated process where all the different genes and the products of which are involved, the process is itself really complicated. But we are not going to discuss all this here. But what we intend to talk is the basics of the vulva development. At least you should have the basics idea first. And with the help of the basics, then you can dig in deeper. You obviously, you need to read in order to understand. But this mnemonic will definitely help you to understand what the vulva development uh, is and the first thing uh, the mnemonic is 12 am yes okay uh, this is all you need to remember 12 am midnight yes okay now if you remember this small uh, mnemonic you can uh, correlate the steps of vulva development quite easily so starting with this so 12 is the number of cells 12 cells actually start starts the journey it starts starts the journey uh, for vulva development let me take small okay next one is am a for anchor cell anchor cell this is really really important anchor cells role in the vulva development is very crucial because this cell provides the signaling molecule, the signaling to the neighboring cells and they differentiate into their respective fate. Then M, multi rounds of cell division, multi rounds of division involved in the process of vulva development and this differentiation of the cell is very critical once the anchor cell releases the signaling uh, molecule which is a morphogen by the way the anchor cell releases something called as morphogen uh, the morphogen is a chemical compound which provides signal to a cell and depending upon its concentration gradient the outcome of that signaling also alters okay so upon releasing of morphogen by anchor cells signaling is done multiple rounds of cell division will be achieved so 12 am portion is done now we have e y yes yes okay so why we have starting with e y either yes or no this is the result of the uh, signaling the signaling uh, done by morphogen the signaling either can cause the cell to grow and divide or not yes or no signaling if it is yes then it's a go it's a positive side for vulva development okay then we have y e e and s so this e stands for epithelial cells epithelial cells during vulva development if you understand what vulva is it's an egg, egg laying structure so if this is a c elegans and you look at the structure at near the vulva let's say this is this is a kind of a vulva structure and uh, this is a vulva structure right and in the vulva we have inner vulva structure we have outer vulva structure this to outer vulva structure and rest of the other portions out there these are epithelial cells these are epithelial cells okay so epithelial cells play uh, crucial role in maintaining the rest of the other structure is for seven out of this 12 out of the number 12 cells starts the journey out of that the seven cells so the seven out of 12 actually directly involve in the formation of uh, the vulva so let me move to the uh, next part to it because among the seven cells we have one anchor cell and six uh, vulva vulval precursor cells now among the six cells what happened is that the one received maximum signal the the, the one that is present closest proximity to the anchor cell receives maximum signaling uh, molecule so they will turn into the structure of inner vulva so one will form inner vulva So the one receives the maximum signaling amount, uh, signaling molecules, morphogens. 
from inner valve the one that is present near to this primary cell or 1 degree cells known as 2 degree cells they are known as what they are known as simple outer outer structure of the valve okay 2 degree cells okay still they are part of the valve two such cells one cell here are two cells uh, forming the outer part of the valve and the rest three cells will form epithelial cells because they receive the least amount of morphogen the one receive the maximum amount turn into inner valve the receive the least the, the medium outer valve two cells such and three cells received the least amount of morphogen forming epithelial cells okay among the seven cells you can see one anchor and rest six are the fate of the six are explained in here so seven okay o for organizer 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 concept is very important here in the valve development of c elegans because organizer means when a particular signaling molecule released it acts as a gradient mediated fashion means at a particular higher gradient it should have a different impact on that same cell with a with a lower concentration it will have a different impact on that same cell so with changing gradient the impact on which the signaling molecule is working will alter itself or change itself so that is for uh, the o okay okay and the last one is k so k uh, stands for the key stages that we have talked about actually these are all the key stages that we talked about so it's not that important to understand just to uh, maintain the sentence 12 am yes okay put k there but these are the important ones 12 am yes okay so 12 cells starts the journey a for anchor cell plays a very important role then m for multi rounds of cell division due to the signaling gradient based signaling by morphogen then we have y yes or no signal yes then starts the division no no start uh, division e means epithelial cells part of the valve structure and s is the seven cells out of 12 involved in the process of valve development one is the anchor cell uh, the the other one Uh, which is present nearest to the anchor cell is the inner valve structure the two one is outer valve structure which is connected to the inner valve structure cells then the rest of the three out of the seven forms epithelial cells and lastly how is the organizer the mode of the organizer concept is very important the release of the morphogen with the morphogenic gradient establishes the fact and the formation of inner uh, valve outer valve and the epithelial cell structures out there okay so that's all uh, regarding the valve development i believe you have a clear idea about the valve development if you understood valve development at least the basics of it then please hit the like button share this video to your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye